Hello, hello everybody, welcome to day two of the Hardcore Iron Man Race to 1000 Total Level Challenge. We are in the same exact spot we ended yesterday. It is day two. We are almost ready to go. There's about three minutes left until we can start, and we're going to be starting out with a cache to make sure we don't miss it, because we missed uh, one of the caches we could have done yesterday. So we're going to make sure we get that today. And I'm about to start the stream in a few minutes here. So uh, once we get into that, I will uh, see you then. But beforehand, thank you so much for the response on the stream yesterday for day one, as well as the people that have subscribed to my YouTube channel so far. It means a lot to me. I really appreciate it. Hopefully you guys will stick around for the future videos even after the challenge. But beforehand, we're still doing this. We're still grinding and we're still going to win. All right. All right. Let's get her done. Let's see what we can do today, boys. Let's do this. It is, in fact... Time to go, so let's turn on our run so we're not just awkwardly walking. Let's get some stuff done today. Maybe we'll just go to Falador anyways. To be safe, because we know we can go through there. Let's just see what we can do. Let's not, I mean, I'm, I don't want to chop the tree, I want to teleport, hello. Just to be safe, and then if these rocks go in there before I teleport, then we'll hop in here. And yeah, this is the closest one, so let's just hop there and see what we can do. All right, so we didn't get 100 points. We got 85, but we did get 25 divination from 17. So that's a solid, I don't know. I can't do math right now. It's too late. Uh, eight levels, actually. Eight levels. And we got the divination piece, so that's not bad. So now what we got to do is change our skybox because it looks really weird. Okay, so let's go Let's go to Taverly real quick. We have some stuff that we can grab before we head into some, some other stuff here. We also have 15 minutes until we want to do our first big chin. Which I've actually never done before, so we're going to see if this is a, a good idea or not. Uh, let's go get that Dungeoneering Ring so we can have a quick tally to a bank. I believe we get it from the person out front. Alright, so now we're going to do some air altar runs for some quick uh, room crafting experience. So let's just withdraw Essence. And then craft this Rune Altar. Get some quick levels here. Let's withdraw some more essence. And the last one, five room crafting, not horrible, not horrible. Let's head back to Taverly real quick. And then we will have another, we still have 15 minutes until Big Chin. And this is actually gonna be my first Big Chin run ever. So we're gonna see how that goes. But before that, let's just do some, uh, some quick little raking and farming. There is two farming right there. You love to see it. Getting more and more levels as the minutes go on. Hopefully, hopefully this Big Chin gets us something spicy. And yeah, so hopefully we can get some levels from Big Chin. And then after that, we're going to do Knight Sword most likely. And then after that, we can do another cache, I believe. Unless there's something that uh, doesn't allow Iron Man to do two caches in a day, which I don't think is the case. So we should be able to get some more levels from that. Hopefully relatively easily. We'll definitely do these uh, construction tower things in the future. Oh, did I go to the wrong side? Oof, hold up. Where am I? I did go to the wrong side. No, dude. Okay, let's head back. This is the type of stuff we have to eliminate from our, from our gameplay. And yeah, there is six minutes until Big Chin, so we have to kind of hurry up here. Let's go check this guy to see what he's got for us, and hopefully... He's got something that we can yoink off of him. Uh, pie dish. Uh, let's buy a couple. Red, perfect. I was expecting to have to pick those. Um, and... Pots. For flour. I think that's all we need for a pie, right? If we need water or something, I'll get that afterwards, but I think that's all we need. So we should be good now, and we have five minutes until Big Chin. So I think what we'll do is uh, we'll teleport to the closest place we can, which I think is, yeah, Artie, and then we'll head up towards there. And then if we have time, we'll chop down some trees while we're waiting. So we'll see. So we're just going to chop down some trees here while we're waiting for Big Chin to start, and then we will uh, hopefully get some hunting levels from that. So I'll see you once we're done. Hopefully, if this is as good as I think, we'll hit around 400 total level, maybe, from Big Chin. I might be overshooting that, but uh, better to be optimistic than uh, a pessimist, you know? Uh, this should be the Big Chin portal, right, if I'm not mistaken? 
So hopefully this is where we need to be for Big Chin. If not, uh, rip. I see some butterflies though, so that's a good sign. So now we gotta do Big Chin. Let's see how this goes. I've never actually done it before. So we got the Moth Jar. 26 Hunter. Okay, so we gotta find what's gonna give us our Hunter level. Okay, so we're actually getting Moths from this. We just have to feed this guy once we are done. So do we just get- yeah, we, fif we get 15 then deposit. So that's- okay. I'm assuming it kind it kind of works like caches where because you can collect more than just the certain types of butterflies it ends up being faster xp in the later levels hopefully that's the case i don't think i can do orange now you need 13 which we might be able to do the next time we do a big gen and i think we can do these twice a day so we're at 13 out of 15 just a couple more and then we can uh deposit there's one go back go back get the red one dude Look at that big chinchampa just feeding, just chomping down, dude. And 15 should be right here. Then empty jar into the nest. 255 XP, that's not bad. Three levels. We're at 389 right now. So hopefully we can... Hopefully we can grab some more jars here. We still have 16 minutes left. We still have tons of time. Hopefully this is worth it. So yeah, it's going to be fun to kind of test out all these dailies to see if they are worth it to do in between quests or if it is just underwhelming compared to just normal questing and, and skill grinding. Let's see what this one gets us. We have three minutes left after this. We are 10 Hunter. Not bad, not bad. I don't think we're gonna get 13, but we probably will get 11 or 12. So we yoinked level 12 from that. We did end with 110 points. I don't really know what that means because I've never done this before, but we are 12 Hunter. That brings us up to 398. We were so close to 400 total level off of that. We're also one level away from the... Uh, the 13 that we need for the next moth, so we will be able to get that uh, the next time we come back. But what we have to do now is keep preparing for the Knight's Sword, and then we will be able to uh, get some big XP gains off of that. Alright, let's let here's to hoping we don't burn any of these. Alright, so we burned one. Alright, we burned two. At least we got one. If we got one, that's all we need. Perfect. So let's head back to the bank and then we'll head over to do our next cache in four minutes we'll probably just chop some trees or something while we're there do some more fletching see if we can grab some levels and then hop into that cache we also just passed the 400 total level mark we are right now 240 levels behind micro which is definitely doable with the quest we have lined up for today so we're just gonna make sure we get to those we still have four hours left four hours left and i might hop worlds just to avoid this guy you ready to get wrecked? I, I don't know, dude. I don't know. He's putting up some tough competition, but I do. He is some good competition. He's making me prove myself, considering he's literally just a god with guides and whatnot. All right, let's Krez immediately. We're in the cache now. We're ready to go. Let's get these Krez points right off the bat. Hopefully at least one other person shows up with us, so it's a little easier for us to get some, some points while we're not Krez. Thank God. Sweet, dude. Oh, there's two people. Uh, this is still not bad. That's not bad. We can manage. We can probably get 100 points off that, considering we got, like, 90-something when there was, like, five people in the cache last time. So we'll see what we can do. So sadly, we only got 98 points, but that was still enough for us to get 31 divination. We can come back and get the, uh, I think it's, like, 30 points or something we can get uh, to end up um, finishing off the amount of points we can do. But let's head to a bank real quick. Actually, let's just do this one. Ah, it's too late. Let's just grab the stuff we have from Knight Sword, as well as our mage weapon, and then go kill some white knights. Hopefully get some iron bar drops pretty quick here so we don't waste too much time. And uh, if we can, then we'll be well on our way to get that Knight Sword done and get those hefty smithing levels, dude. Heck yeah. Iron bars? Iron ore. I mean, I'll take it. Not the same thing, though. We got the iron bars, we actually got two of them in a drop. So now we can head out and start doing this quest. Actually, we can start it right here, correct? Squire? Squire! Let's get this quest started and finish real quick. These spooky guys are the ones that I'm worried about here. Oh! Don't hit me! Uh, that's not too bad, actually. I'm sure they can hit harder, though. Let's get the blur right quick, dude! Actually, we can safe spot it over here. Yoink. So, now that we finished that quest, we are 437 total level, we have 29 smithing, and now we can go ahead to Big Chin. 
and get some more hunter levels. And that'll be the last big chin for the day. And then maybe if we have to, and we have time at the end, we'll grab the third cash just to finish off that 200 points for the day. It will be worth it, but uh, we'll have to wait and see. There it is, 13 hunter. Now we can start grabbing orange ones as well, like this one right here. And start getting that fat XP, dude. Heck yeah. Heck yeah, dude. So now that we've done that, we actually use our reward points on uh, the elf there and used all the points we got, 231 points, and each point is 5 XP. So that actually got us up to 21 hunter, and we went in there with 12 hunter. So that was really nice. I'm going to have to start doing that on my main more. But now that we're done with that, uh, let's go and do uh, buyers and sellers. So we can get some more thieving XP for dig site. Because we want to do dig site today for the mining XP. It's a big fat mining XP uh, mining XP gain. So let's, let's get on with it. So we got Combat Academy done. We got some good levels from it. We're up to 457 total level. Let's use this last one on 34 and 35 magic. Three levels. We're up to 359 now. So now, while we're waiting for an evil tree, let's do buyers and sellers now that we're here. So let's head over and start this right now. Uh, basically just the two hour mark right now. We still have three more hours to get more. We're almost at a hundred total, a hundred levels in one hour. Or in two hours, rather. So we still have time to get at least another hundred, if not more. Probably more. Because we still have some big quests to do. So now that that quest is done, we can come in here and actually do some of these gates. As long as we can find some worlds where other people aren't already doing them. So let's start hopping and start opening. But we have the level, tw level 25 thieving we need. Now we need to get level 10 herb lore. Which we'll see if either Jungle Potion or if we have enough stuff in the bank to get level 10. I doubt we do, but we can give it a shot. It'll give us some XP anyways, and it'll give us some potions if we need some in the future. So yeah, since the slime is Herblore, we could try to we could try to use that to get level 10 if the XP isn't too bad. Um, if it's kind of rough, we might just go and do Jungle Potion, but we do have some supplies we need. We just have to go buy some bottles from the Herblore guy over here. As well as get the free one that he has just for a quick little potion that we can grab. Eight herb lore now. So let's just go do jungle potion real quick just to get it done and over with. Let's put some stuff on my bar as well. Now I do know this can take a while. So hopefully I don't take forever getting the snake weed. Hopefully it gives me some luck and I get it pretty quickly here. We actually got that really quick. Thank you. Thank you. Literally like five seconds after I ended the recording. We actually just uh, yoinked a snake weed. Of course, this should be quest done, hopefully. Yep, there we go. A lamp. Uh, yes, please. 12 herb lore, not bad, not bad. We're at 474 total level. So now let's go and do... Uh, oh, yeah, to the Verac Lodestone so we can go to the uh, quest point shop and see if we can grab something nice like a weapon or just the money if it comes down to that. But we'll see what we can get. And we have two and a half hours left of this day, and we're doing pretty good. We're doing pretty good. Let's roll this. Hopefully give me something good. Come on. Uh, what is it? Ah, uh, okay. Ceridum and Rome legs and 250k. 250k is not bad. Robe legs. But uh, yeah, now that we're here, I think we can start dig site now. So lucky day for me. We actually had all the items we need for dig site in our bank already. So now, that was actually a pretty good search. Now, hopefully we can do this quest without a problem. There's no fighting, so we don't really need anything on us. Although, I'm, I probably should have brought my ring with me, but it should be okay otherwise. There we go. And there it is, dude. Quest done, 15.3k mining XP, 2k herblor XP, 2 gold bars. But, that's that done for now. There's some levels. We're almost at 500 total level, which is amazing. Uh, now... Let's go get Trinome Village done with. And... There's the Warlord dead. Let's get his orbs and head back to the boys. Let's give this king his orbs back. And there we go. Quest done. 11.4k attack XP. That'll get us 41 attack. We are now at 498 total level. We're so close. So close to the next level we need. Oh yeah, Wolf Whistle. Wolf Whistle, that's right. Let's head to Taverly. And get that one done, though. So we can start doing the dailies. What other dailies do we have? Challenges. Spirit Wolves. Greenhorn. Kill Slayer creatures that are assigned to you by a Slayer Master. Might be able to do some Slayer just for that. 
And then pickpocket pompous merchants. I could do that right now. Not bad, not bad. It really didn't get me that much. I'm going to be honest with you. It really didn't get me that much. Oh, f yeah. Compost. Let's go do the compost at uh, Catherine. Maybe get some farming levels. And then on top of that, uh, any quest for mining? Oh, circus. Yes, as well. Circus as well. Do you think we'd be strong enough for Witch's House? Uh, do we get more stuff for Combat Academy? Oh, it has. Oh, no. I wait. Oh, no. I never closed it. That's a big oof right there, dude. That's a big oof to our plans. But it's okay. We still have an hour and 20 minutes left. There's still so much time left. Still so much time left. I think we're good now. Now let's go back. And get this quest done. Hopefully this will get us some levels that we need. And then after this, we're going to go do just some normal leveling. Probably crafting. Probably rune span. Um, maybe if we can find a star to do, to do, we can do that as well. Wouldn't hurt to do the other statues too. We have plenty of time left. We still have over an hour. So this is this is just easy escape, dude. You cheese on the mouse hole in the wall. I just ate the cheese. Um, does this respawn? Please to God tell me that respawns. Thank God for world hopping, dude. Oh my god. Let's right click, use cheese on the mouse hole. Oh my god. <gasps> no! Oh, that sucks. Surge put us way too far. That's really stupid. Hopefully we're all right here. Hopefully we're all right. Yeah, it's a bear. Ooh, that actually hurts a lot. Ooh, okay, this is going to be rough. Of course that splashes, dude. Of course it splashes. This guy's hitting almost 400 on us. That's not good. This next one's going to be tough. This next one's going to be tough, but I think we got it. As long as I can kill this thing pretty quick here. Let's heal back up to full. Wolf boy, how's it going? Let's attack this. This guy is hitting 400s on us, so that's not good. Oh my god, keep healing, dude. This guy's hitting big numbers on us, dude. This is rough. I don't know, dude. The fact that we can't... Uh, also, the right-click attack thing is screwing me over. I'll teleport if I have to. But if we can get some big hits here, I don't know if we can because we can't use... If I get too low on food here, I'm just going to quit. Oh, this was going to be so good. Yep, yeah, not going to happen. No, dude. Okay, it's whatever. It was a risk we had to take, so we're just going to work on something else. We'll do that tomorrow. We'll do it tomorrow and we'll get some levels. Uh, okay, so what we're going to do, though, um, honestly, let's do some rune span. Let's do some rune span for some quick levels. Because we need as much as we can get at this point. Because we're honestly pretty far behind. And we have about an hour left. So we can get some levels. Oh, the circus too. The circus would help. Circus probably would have helped early on. Like even before that fight. And we do have a one hour left. We're at 10 rune crafting. 514 total level. We have a ways to go to catch up. But I don't know. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. There's still a chance. We have to find something good to do. Something really good to do. But yeah, really, like, if we end up, like, under, or over 100 levels behind Micro, we're gonna have to find something amazing to even make this a possible win. But we are doing pretty well here at RuneSpan, but I know he is planning on doing that soon, so we're gonna, I mean, these levels are gonna become moot at some point. We have to find some better stuff to do. Like, he did get to 641, but I feel like we can still get to around 600, and that still leaves a, a closable gap if we can figure out a really good plan for tomorrow. Okay, so we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna grab uh, 20 runecrafting from here and then head off to the circus, maybe get some levels from there. Then after that, maybe do either fletching or crafting, I'm not sure yet. Fletching might be better because we're lower, we might be able to get more levels in it since there's less XP gap between the levels. Uh, but we'll have to wait and see. And then we'll also be getting woodcutting XP from the fletching as well, which may add up to more. So we'll have to, we'll just have to wait and see. Even though you do get a small amount of farming XP from picking flax as well. There's actually a fireball right here. I might stay a little bit longer than 20. Just to get this fireball. But yeah, this is going to be interesting. We're going to have to pull out all the stops come the rest of today and tomorrow. To even come close to beating my crew. With the, with the lead he's, he's getting on us. <laughs> so yeah, let's head to Drainer for the circus. Get some levels there. 
Uh, ending here with 21 runecrafting, 200, 525 total level. We are like 120 behind Micro, but I have a feeling we can get back into this just in these last 45 minutes here. We almost didn't even see it here, but uh, let's go get it. I guess let's just get back into uh, let's just get back to wood cutting and fletching to do some of that. Let's actually head to let's head to the bank, grab our ring. Or no, honestly, might as well just do it right here. Why not? Okay, uh, we're gonna finish off picking and spinning some flags, hopefully to get some crafting levels. We're super close to um, 12 crafting, actually. So hopefully this is gonna be worth it for us. But yeah, we're gonna grab 12 crafting right here, as well as maybe something else. We are gonna be probably exactly, or we're gonna be a little bit less than 100 levels behind Micro when we end. It was rough today. I don't know what fell through. Something happened. I don't know if it was the dailies that we experimented with. I don't know if it was Big Chin specifically. I don't know if it's the fact that we didn't get full cash runs. There was some stuff that we missed that Micro pointed out to me just now in stream. Like we didn't do the Varak Museum thing yet, so we're going to do that tomorrow. We also failed and wasted time on Witch's House, which didn't help. Yeah, we'll just have to see tomorrow. Maybe we'll try Slime. Maybe we'll try Slime if we get uh, down to it. If it's worth it, we'll just kind of, we'll just kind of have to wait and see. But let's go up and bank this right now, and uh, I'll come back to you guys when it's over. Feeling slightly defeated after this poor showing on day two, but there's still more time to catch back to uh, where my crew is at, and maybe even pass him if we can find something progress to do. But we'll see. So yeah, we'll spend these last five minutes on on wood cutting, because those tools weren't cutting it. And, uh, or fire making rather, wood cutting and fire making. And then, uh, tomorrow we have some catching up to do. We have some planning, all that kind of stuff. It's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be a fun time. We'll have to see what happens. So, one minute, we're doing some fire making for this last level. Like, two more logs, maybe? Hurry up, dude! Oh, there it is, okay. Day two over. 546, we are 94 levels behind my crew. It's, uh, it's gonna be interesting these next few days. It's gonna be interesting. We have a lot to do, a lot to catch up with. We're hoping for something big to happen to my crew. Something, something bad, you know? Something real bad. I'm looking at you, my crew. <laughs> but, uh, worst comes to worst, we catch up a little bit more. And then if he doesn't get it tomorrow, which it'd be incredible if he was able to get a thousand total level in three days. But if he is able to, then I guess we lose. Or we come back and win and we do it faster, which, my god, that'd be incredible. But there's still a chance we can catch up and then finish him off on the fourth day if we can find a way to pass him. But tomorrow we have a lot of stuff planned that we didn't get to today as well as some stuff that we have to amend, and then we also have to do some more planning to adjust for the fact that some of the stuff we tried today didn't work, some of the dailies weren't great, like, uh, Big Chin probably wasn't the best. It got us some levels, but it was probably a little bit too slow. The caches worked out pretty well, but we didn't get a hundred in each. Dungeoneering probably wasn't a good choice. Uh, Witch's House put us behind a bit. We spent too much time changing skills and trying to figure out what's best. It's just, a lot of stuff didn't go to plan. And that probably put us behind as much as we are. But it's still a lot of fun. I'm under a lot of pressure and under a lot of stress. But it's still fun. We're still working everything out. And uh, hopefully tomorrow we can pull ourselves together. And uh, get these gains going, you know. Alright guys. So that was a less than desirable performance on day two for me. I gotta say, it wasn't the best. We're 94 total levels behind my crew which the, uh, the gap has pretty much doubled, which hopefully that doesn't stay the same for day three. Hopefully it doesn't double again. That'd be insane. Uh, we have a lot of ground to make up, but it's definitely doable. It's definitely doable. We have a lot of things we have to do tomorrow that we didn't do today. Um, a lot of things we have to do tomorrow that hopefully Micro will have trouble with or that we will be able to just do a little bit faster. We still have time. There's still time. Micro's at 640 right now. He has to get... Uh, 360 levels uh, to finish, which it's going to get slower now that it, we're uh, getting higher levels. It's going to get slower. 
unless he finds something that's just going to absolutely propel, propel his levels. But uh, we both have a plan. Hopefully the plans work out. Uh, the daily stuff we did today didn't work out. We're still going to do some of it because it's gotten faster. Like daily chin, we might still do. Caches we're definitely still going to do. But uh, we're going to have to find a way to kind of pull out all the stops these next few days. Um, but hopefully you'll be here to watch all of that, both on my channel, Micro's channel, my Twitch channel, Micro's Twitch channel, if you're watching the streams. And uh, yeah, thank you guys all for being here. Thank you for watching. Uh, welcome to the Goon Tribe. And I will see you in the next video or the next stream, depending on when you show up. The next stream, day three, for me is going to be uh, 7 p.m. Eastern. So after you watch this video, sometime that day at 7 p.m. Eastern uh, will be the stream for me. Micro is going to be right before that, I believe. And yeah, hopefully you can tune in and support whoever team you support. Either Team Micro or Team Goon. We're still in it. We're still in it. We're underdogs, but we're still in it. We still got a chance. I hope you believe in us. But yeah, we're in this. We're going to try our best. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys in the next one. Welcome to the Goon Tribe. I hope you enjoyed. Adios.